Nowadays, we expect to have instant access to everything online. I know that during at least one of my previous casual attempts at genealogy research, I stopped as soon as I hit a roadblock that forced me to, heaven forbid, track down a physical document offline. I imagine that I'm not alone in this. But how does one make that leap from casual online dabbler to serious genealogy researcher? What's the best way to approach a search when it takes you off the web and into physical archives and libraries? We'll look at these questions and more in Module 3. I'm Kyle Denlinger. Welcome back to Roots MOOC. Before we get going on Module 3, let's recap what we learned in the last module. Aside from learning the best ways to access and use the United States Census, we learned that the census changed in important ways over time. The further you go back, the less information was actually recorded, so knowing what to expect from different years of the census will make you a more efficient researcher. We learned to pay close attention to where our ancestors lived. This information often changed, either through family migration or through redrawing of state or county boundaries. We also learn to pay close attention to your family's friends, associates, and neighbors, their fan club, as their ties to these people often resulted in marriages or business dealings. Most of all, though, we learn to let the census tell its story. By following our ancestors through multiple years of the census, we get a better sense of how our families moved, grew, and changed. So, how did you use the census in your own research? I'll be sharing my experiences and a few examples in the discussion board. Let me know how it's going for you. In Module 3, we'll all attempt to make that leap from casual online dabbler to serious genealogy researcher. We want you to get to the stuff that you just can't get online. For many of you, this will involve planning a visit to a library, archive, or historical society near you, while for others, it will involve gathering contacts and citations to make requests of those places you just can't travel to. I hope you enjoy Module 3. <laughs>